Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to make a quick video on how to put on a dress shirt as a quadriplegic with limited hand function. So uh, first of all, I mean, if you like the video and you like all my other content, please hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, I know that I haven't been very consistent with my posting. Last year I started dealing with some health complications and it's taken me a while to get back to being 100%. Um, then this year's been totally crazy with, uh, for me it started with Kobe Bryant passing away. Um, and for me, uh, I was such a fan, I, was, I looked up to him as somebody who worked hard every day. I tried to be better tomorrow than he was today. Um, uh, the man bun mentality is something that I try to apply to a lot of the things that I do. Just a um, devastating loss for me as somebody that I look up to. Uh, and then that was followed by the COVID-19 situation where um, we, with the pandemic we couldn't leave our houses and we've been stuck in um, having to worry about like what we touch and who we're talking to. Um, and that, that was followed with the George, George, uh, George Floyd uh, murder and uh, how that sparked all the protests that are happening all over the world. Um, it's such a surreal time to um, like be living through history, I guess. And um, I, I do have like my own opinions on like what's happening with the world and in the United States. I, I don't think that this is, this, the, this is the right platform to talk about it, especially in today's video, but um, if you're not talking about it here, I hope you're talking about it in your own communities because um, these are issues that need to be talked about. And I'm hopeful that like we can come together as a nation and like address those issues of in, like the, the injustices that are happening to our fellow Americans. Um, so, but anyways, let's get back to the video and uh, let me get this shirt, okay? All right, so this is the shirt that I got. This is, um, I got the, the shirt Ex Express. I like their material and um, I like to get their slim fits because I'm a skinny guy and uh, I think they look better on me. So um, the first thing I do though is I always roll up the sleeves. So let me show you. So as somebody who uses a wheelchair and is also a quadriplegic, I the reason I prefer having my sleeves rolled up most of the time is because um, I don't want the ends to get dirty. I use my forearms a lot and even when I just use my hands um, like the edges like hit the wheel and it just doesn't look good. So if you can see um, I just keep them rolled like or I don't keep them rolled up but I roll them up after I wash them. Um, and the way I do it is um, I use my thumb to kind of like push the inside in. And then I do that and like work my way around. See? Um, and then um, and then it looks a little more I guess professional instead of like bunching it all up on um, your sleeve and then that, that way it also falls down more so um, that's what I always do first I roll them up and then um, I also keep them buttoned uh, most like mostly all the way up just enough so I can fit my big head through them um, and then I just put it on over a shirt so I'll show you how I do that with regular t-shirts what I normally do is um, I work one side first, so I'll just like lift it and um, I'll get my thumb in the armhole. That way um, I can push the thing down so I can get my elbow through. Like that. And then uh, the rest is pretty easy. You can just um, do the other side. And then it's off. Try not to mess up the hair too much. Um, so that's that. And then to get the other shirt on, um, this one's a little trickier um, because it's a slim fit. It's kind of hard since with the no hand function thing. So what I like to do is I like to put my gloves on. They give me like uh, another layer of grip because I use the little pads. All right, so um, like I mentioned before, I keep it buttoned, so I just like put it on like a regular t-shirt.
feel free to use your teeth. And then uh, once you have it kind of up both arms, you can just throw it over the head and just adjust <laughs> everything. Uh, and uh, this is where the like pads come in handy because if you lean forward, you can use them to bring the back down. And you have a shirt on. Now you can keep it all Rico Suave and um, with the button up, but this is the part where you button the shirt up. Because normally when I go to work, I can't um, <laughs> I can't be showing all the tattoos. I use this little tool. Um, it's like a little button hook and puller. Um, you can get it on Amazon, and I'll put the description that in the description so you can like have access to it. So. Um, I'll show you how I use this to button up the rest of the things. Um, you can also use the hook to do zippers. So um, for pants or if you have like something to zip up and you have a hard time hooking it or you don't have like a ring on it. I always carry one with me in my bag just in case and then I have one at home. They get lost really easily. Okay, so to get this button, you want to use the little diamond shape tool. And um, I'm gonna use like a, one of these little mirrors to help me see better. Um, so let me set that up. Um, and the first thing you wanna do is, you wanna find the hole. So um, you push it through and then you wanna get the diamond around this button so once you grab it, you see, um, you're able to pull it through. Um, so you just want to make sure that it's going through. Sometimes it gets stuck, but there we go. Um, bam. And then once you pull it through, you can just kind of Make sure you look good, right? Nothing's too wrinkled. Um, and bam, there it goes. Now, to get this button undone, you wanna use the, the hook. And what you wanna do is you wanna get it behind the flap so you can hook onto the hole of where the button goes in. Um, that'll pull it down. So you can use your thumb behind to push the button through. And it can be kind of hard if the hole is so small, but kind of keep wiggling it. There we go. Oh, I thought I had it. Let me try that again. Bam. There we go. And I'm trying to be gentle because I kind of like this shirt, so. <laughs> um, so now you have an opening and you can take it off. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video as always. Let me know if you guys want to see any other type of content. Um, I've always wanted to incorporate more of what I do as a mental health counselor into this channel or possibly like start another channel where I did more mental health um, type of things. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Um, uh, I hope everybody's staying safe out there if you're going to uh, protest and um, even if you're just going outside, you're wearing a mask. Uh, because this COVID-19 thing is still, still out there. So, um, like I said, just stay safe, uh, stay blessed, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next, next video.